We're going to be taking a look at Groove Agent SE5 today and how we can use the internal mixer and also route the outputs of each individual sample to its own dedicated track in Cubase. So first of all, when we load up Groove Agent SE for the first time, you'll notice that generally you don't get any sounds loaded up, it's all empty pads. And we can either load one of the kits from Cubase, or we can create our own by dragging and dropping samples in from our media browser straight into one of the pads. So for example, if I wanted to put a kick sound on here, I can just grab one and drag it over into Groove Agent. And there we go. We now have a kick sound. Now let's go ahead and load up a couple more. So let's load up a, uh, uh, I don't know, snare that'll do, snare sound here. Okay, and let's load up a hi-hat, which I'll probably end up putting on the wrong channel. That'll do. There we go. So we have a kick snare and hi-hat. And as you can see, as we're playing, those sounds are all going through one output. They're all sharing the same stereo output, which is known as the master output inside a Groove Agent. And you can also see here from the internal mixer. Now, if we wanted to mix inside of Groove Agent and we wanted to have individual sounds on its own dedicated channel in Groove Agent, what we need to do is under the mixer, make sure you're, you've got the Agent tab selected, which is pretty much the mixer tab and then go to one of your sounds. So let's go to the kick sound. We're gonna right click on this and we're going to go to assign outputs. And here you'll see there's a couple of different things. We have kit mix, which is like the full mix. Uh, we have agent and this allows us to assign our sounds to its own individual bus in the mixer. So you, you basically assign in an output within the Groove Agent software. So if we go to agent and then I'm gonna select the kick to bus one and then go to the snare and I'm gonna set this to Agent Bus 2, and then we'll set the hi-hat on Agent Bus 3. So when I go to play a kick drum now in, inside a Groove Agent, you'll see it's on Bus 1, the snare's on Bus 2, and the hi-hat is on Bus 3. So that's, this means that we can, we can mix the individual tracks in the internal mixer of Groove Agent. So if I want to come here and put a compressor on, uh, you know, from within Cubase, let's say the vintage compressor, you know, I can set this up, I can give it some, you know, settings and get a sound. And you can mix things internally and then you can balance the levels, etc, etc. Now let's say for the snare track, we've, we've let's pretend we've just done some mixing to it and we like the sound of it. Um, but we want to have, I don't know, we want to have uh, some reverb on there. We want to have the reverb sound. You'll notice here we have an AUX tab, which works exactly like an effects. Uh, send inside the mixer, but you have four of these, okay? So if I go to AUX1 here and I stick a reverb on, we're going to stick any old reverb on here, and we'll just use whatever setting this is. Let's say I want the snare to be sent to that, so we have some of that reverb. We go back to our Agent tab, you'll see down here you have Send1, Send2, Send3, and Send4. Now with our reverb being on Send1, all we need to do is just increase the level of the send until we can hear the reverb. And we can also, if we wanted to, send the kick to that as well. Okay, so you get the idea of how this is starting to work. Now, we can also go to our master section here, which because everything's still going through a stereo output, we can even do some more processing on here by processing our master output. So if we wanted to put some compression on, we could put some compression on you know, and we can do whatever we like and get a really nice sound all from within Groove Agent SE. Now, if you are looking to process all the sounds using third party plugins and you don't want to do it through the Groove Agent SE mixer, what I would recommend doing is making sure all of the plugins are turned off on the master, make sure there's no sends happening inside of Groove Agent SE and disable any plugins on the individual bus channels. And now what we will want to do is create individual outputs for these, okay? So for this, you don't really need to worry about using the assign agent output because that's just for routing it from within Groove Agent SE5. If we want to assign, you know, our own output in the mixer here, 
we do the similar thing. We right click on our sample. So for this, the kick drum. And for the kick drum, I usually leave it on the master output. Okay. I, I usually leave it on that. Uh, for the snare, we're going to assign a different output. We're going to go to output two. And you'll see now it's coming out of the channel output two. And then we're going to assign the output to output three for the hi hat. Now with Cubase, what it'll do when you assign these outputs, it'll automatically populate them for you and it'll name them as well, which makes it really useful. Now, if you find that even though you've assigned the outputs and Cubase is not showing them up for whatever, what you can do, if it looks like this, what you can do is go to your right zone, go onto VSTi and then go to your outputs and just enable those outputs. They might not be named like they would have done automatically uh, beforehand, but you can still assign the output. So here you can see I've just checked those ones and we can now hear the sounds coming through in our DAW mixer. And this means we can now do things like add our own plugins or use the channel strip and you know do our own processing to these individual sounds and mix them from within Cubase. So hopefully that's covered everything for you. Uh, if I've missed anything out, please let me know in the comments below and hopefully you found this useful. Thank you all for watching and I will see you again in the next Cubase Tips video.